This kind of speaker is a special kind. It's called a subwoofer, which is designed to give you the low notes, the big rumbly bass sounds. I tilt the speaker so it's facing up and cover it with big sheets of plastic wrap, which I push into the cone. Then tape it so it's nice and secure. Then what you need is some cornstarch mud, which is two parts cornstarch, one part water. I've got some yellow cornstarch and some blue cornstarch. This experiment works the best with low notes. I'm playing a tone through the stereo that is very low. Here's what happens when I turn up the volume. It's alive! You see, cornstarch mud is a sheer thickening fluid, which means when you impact it, it turns solid. So the vibrations from the speaker cone are making the cornstarch mud impact and that's turning it into a solid, but then it sort of also melts back into a liquid, so you get little columns of cornstarch coming up and falling down again. It's like it's dancing. Whoa! Visual sound waves. Science! All sound is vibration, but it's really hard to... It's really hard to learn about that vibration if you can't see it. I mean, sound is invisible, right? Well, here's a way that you can make sound visible. All you need is some plastic wrap and salt and a bowl, just a regular bowl, and an elastic like this. So what you do is you take the plastic wrap and cut off a piece just large enough to fit over the bowl and then use the elastic to wrap around the bowl to keep the plastic tight. Pour some salt on the bowl, and then watch this. Hello, vibrating salt. The plastic wrap is stretched tight over the bowl, making it like a drum, a drum that's very sensitive to sound vibrations. Your ear works the same way. That's why we call it an ear drum. The vibrations from my voice make the plastic wrap vibrate, and that makes the salt dance. But there's more. Let's max this out. This is a Cladney plate, and what it is is just a piece of metal on a platform that vibrates up and down to a frequency which I can program with this dial here. And when the sound waves vibrate the plate, they can interact in ways that make the sand form interesting patterns. Take a look. The sounds I'm generating vibrate the plate, make it move like a wave. But when the vibrations reach the edge of the plate, they bounce back and interact with the other waves going the other way. The way these waves interact at different notes is what causes the sand to make these different shapes. So this is great, but you know what? We can max it out even more. Maxing it out even more. That's about as much as I can take of that. Whoa. <laughs>